Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Shadow. It's nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. I don't have my coffee, but I do have my water. Water. Need water. Hello, people. Good morning to you. We got nine people in here and only one has said something. <laughs> Say hi, something, so we'll know you're here. Good morning, Liz. Hi, Connie. Good morning to you. Thank you all for coming today. We're going to have warm weather today. It's already uh, 65 here. Good morning, Joy. But, you know, we've had the last two or three days, we've had uh, temperatures in, in the low 40s. Really strange weather this year. So I thank you all for coming in. I certainly do. I don't see my moderators yet, but we we're good. We're a good group. We don't have to be kicked out and beat up, and, and we don't hurt anybody. Everybody in this group is kind. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Thank you for that thumbs up. I appreciate you. Good morning, Jackie. Y'all, Jackie is our moderator. And we have Diane as well. I think Diane is coming today. Good morning, Peggy. It's good to see you today. My appointment is Monday. Oh, gosh, Joy. That is so scary, isn't it? I know it. I, I'm in Tornado Alley here, and and I worry. It just scares me to death. So, Jackie, no, I have been taking it easy. I, yesterday morning, I got out on my riding lawnmower, and I mowed the yard, and then I did a little bit of weed eating, but not a whole lot. Now, weeder is not heavy, but after you've held it for a long time, good morning, Linda, good to see you. After you hold it in that position for a long time, y'all know what I'm talking about, it gets tiresome on your arms, so I didn't get to do much. But I did mow, and because it's a riding lawnmower, that's okay. I, did, I didn't have to, you know, exert much energy just driving the thing. And I didn't have any accidents, nope. Yeah, Jackie, uh, uh, there's all kinds of different names for it. Weed eaters and, I don't know, several different names. Different people call it different things. A trimmer. I got a lot on my patio 
trimmed and, and done though, so that my cats, um, I've never had that high before, Jackie. Never have. Never. Now, I came home from there and I ordered my medications. And then I, oh, when I went to pick it up, the pharmacist talked to me and he said, have you been buying your medication from somewhere else? And I said, no, I've been using y'all all these years. He said, I showed this last time you ordered lisinopril was in July. So I get a three month supply each time. That means in November, I should have reordered my lisinopril. And it wasn't on my uh, auto refill. So I didn't order it. So y'all, I have been without lisinopril, my blood pressure medication from November to just this last week. No wonder my blood pressure was so high. And somebody said to me in the comment, you're usually on top of things. I am. I'm usually right on top of things. I mean, I I get my license uh, the very day that the, the month changes where I need to go get it, my car inspected. I get my oil changed regularly. I wasn't on top of that. my medicine, though. I was on top of everything else, but not that. That means November Till last week, I have not had a single blood pressure medication. No wonder it was, well, I, I can't remember exactly what it was, two, 200 and something. I can't remember what it was. But no wonder. I mean, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, well, I have one every six months, Jackie. That's that's the thing. I I just can't imagine what I was thinking about. I I can't. I just can't. So I started taking. Today is the third day since I've taken my medicine. I haven't taken my blood pressure yet this morning, but I will in a little while. But uh, it's still pretty high, but it's not as high as it was. I think yesterday when I took it, it was like 159 over. Shoot, I can't remember. Never can remember that second number. No, I didn't do that, Jackie. No, nope, none of those. I wasn't in there enough to get any information. She told me to come back Monday. Didn't give me a Yeah, Cindy, I have a, you know, a blood pressure cup, that battery operated thing. And I haven't been doing that. I haven't been checking it, but now I do. She listened to my uh, heart for a long time, that's for sure. I mean, really, all over my back and everything. And she, for a good while, so probably wasn't a good thing. I didn't ask her. That's the thing about me. I, I don't ask them. Now, when it was Bobby and he was going to see doctors and, and you know, his Alzheimer's doctor, man, I ask a million questions because I wanted to know what to expect and what to do if something came up. But I never ask about myself. I don't know. I'm not invincible. I know I'm not going to live forever. You'd think I'd take a little better care of myself, wouldn't you? I get up and take care of the cats. I take care of the dogs. I think so too, Jackie. Brian said, <coughs> excuse me. Brian said it's all fixable. That's fixable. And I think so too. And uh, so I'll go in there Monday, see what she has to say. And uh, by the way, tell y'all this, I haven't had it done yet, but I found out that if you don't have, if you only have Medicare Part A and B, which is what I have, you can, the, the government passed a, a, 
Social Security, that's what I'm trying to think of. Social Security now will pay for a shingle shot, even if you have only part A and B, but you do have to have a, a script from your doctor to get the shingle shot. And the pharmacy will give it to you. So I haven't gotten mine yet. I just found out about this this week. And I will go get that one soon. But that is a miserable, horrible thing to have. I don't know if any of y'all have ever had that or not. But um, I want to get mine. I'm real excited about getting that. And finally, Medicare is going to let us have shingle shots. Pay for it. <coughs> Sorry. I got out in mode and... Now I've got, there's so much pollen. Okay, so I want to tell y'all about a Facebook group that I joined. You might be interested in it. Let me get the name of it. I never can remember the name of it because it's a long name. A very long name indeed. I'll find it. Hang on there. Hang on there. Where's my groups? Here it is. I don't know if y'all can see that. You may not can see that. They're giving. Well, anyway, if you can't see it, yeah, it is, Jackie, Texas. It's called Single Income or Social Security Living on Less. So it's a big, long name. But if you type in Facebook search bar, Single Income Group, It'll probably pop up, but it's a great group, and I'm going to tell you about it. I found it a couple of days ago, and what it is, it's, it's people that's in our age group, you know, some younger, some older, but all in the same group who are living on a low income, a fixed income, a social security income, and what they do, and it's it's cool that there's so many good morning Brenda good to see you what's great about it is everybody tells uh, or, or helps uh, with keeping costs as low as they possibly can and they tell us how they do it and so they're all sharing their ideas on how to live uh, more frugally because you have to you know you have to but besides that, what's nice is being in a big group of people that are in the same boat just about as you are. And it's it's a very nice uh, camaraderie there. And they're very, very sweet people. And they're really growing. I can't remember. I don't know. Oh, I don't need to look. But it's got a lot of folks. It is, Connie. It's on Facebook. And it's really, really good. I like it. They're funny, some of them. They're very helpful. They're uh, just thoughtful people. Well, for one thing, Jackie, if I'm not in a room, I don't have the light on. The minute I leave the room, I turn the light off. Sometimes the only light in my house is the television square up screen. <coughs> Darn that pollen. So, but then again, I have all these things plugged in and that uses electricity. That's one thing they said, do y'all, if you're not going to use, let's say your toaster or your blender or your whatever, unplug it until you get ready to use it. And I didn't know that. I had no idea that it was just because it was plugged in that it was using electricity, but it is. I did not know that. So, I don't know. There's lots and lots of ways that they were telling that they uh, save money on things and on groceries and things like that. Some of them I don't do and won't do, but some of them are good ideas. But like I said, more importantly, it's it's the the friendship that you get there 
the sense of friendship with people that are just like we are uh, or have it going through some of the same things. And a lot of them are widows. Good morning, Carolyn. Nice to see you. Some of them are widows. Some of them are divorced. Uh, you know, and, and I don't, I've only seen a couple of men's names in there. So it's, it's not strictly for women, but there aren't very many men that I know of. I haven't been there long enough to, to know who's in there and who isn't in there. So anyway, it's a good group if you want to check it out. I like it. I enjoy it. When, in the mornings when I get up and have my coffee, that's what I do. I go to that group because I like looking at, uh, you know, their questions or Yeah, Jackie would, but I don't have a clothesline. I love clotheslines. I especially like putting sheets and pillowcases on the clothesline and let them dry in the breeze. Love that. Well, Carolyn, that bathroom's going to be there for you in a little while when, when, we, when we all go from the chat. So it's going to be there waiting on you. So you do what you want. Yeah. I would love to have a, a clothesline, Jackie. I love the smell of clothes, not towels, because they get real stiff. But I love the scent, that, that fresh sheets. That reminds me of my grandmother's house. She had a, always had white lace. Yes, Jackie, it is. She had white lace curtains on her kitchen windows. And back then, they didn't have air conditioning. And that wind would blow and those curtains would flutter. Good morning, Kathy. How you doing? So, y'all, I was hoping we would see LL Jean today. Good morning, Nilda. How are you? Yeah, it is here too, Kimberly. It's real windy, for heaven's sake. Clothesline in the basement. That's interesting. Oh, well, see, <laughs> not many. No, I don't know of anybody in Texas that has a basement. Isn't that weird? I mean, here we are. We're in Tornado Alley. You'd think a basement would be something that every house would need to have. There you are, L.L. Jean. I just mentioned you. Y'all, L.L. Jean is up there where they had the, the earthquake. And she said she felt it. So I'm glad that you're okay because I've been thinking about you. I think she's telling me that she had, she felt the, the earthquake that day. And then that evening, I think, is when you felt it again. And that has got to be one scary thing. But I watched the news and as soon as I heard that come on the news, I thought of you. I sure did. I don't know, Jackie. Isn't that the truth? Carolyn, that's funny. Yeah. Hey, Carol. Plain vanilla grandma in the house. Um, Kay, I am feeling better, but mainly... I haven't had a spell since that day at Walmart, my, one of my spells. And now I know that was probably my blood pressure. It, it could be blood sugar. We're going to find out. <coughs> I know, Kimberly, I saw that. New York's been having one heck of a year, hadn't it? I mean, they are just really having all kinds of problems. And I think about, about uh, what if we were up there when that happened. I'd be scared to death. Doing pretty good, Delta. I am. Uh, I'm optimistic and excited to get myself back on track as far as health-wise so that I can do more than I've been doing. I was wondering, y'all, how come I had no get up and go. Remember, I'm telling you, I don't want to go over there and fix that house. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Well, no wonder. I was dragging. I was so bad. I have never been this 
messed up. I know, Jackie. I was thinking that the other day. It was April the 23rd when we went to New York. Linda, it is supposed to be overcast. Lots and lots of clouds. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I've got a big, big problem with pollen. People are talking about get their glasses to watch the eclipse, but I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I don't need to watch the eclipse. Okay, there's Ella Jean's talking. Ella Jean says, was sitting on my couch and said, this is not wind. Wind does not shake my couch and my pictures in the house and the trees were not moving. Oh my God, this is not wind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ella Jean, is that the first time you've ever experienced an earthquake? Carolyn, you're right. I wasn't. Remember, I had this same thing. I, I couldn't, I was struggling to keep up with Brian and his, his girlfriend. And um, and I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. I really did. I just needed, I needed to rest. Yes, exactly. The exact same thing. And then I've had many spells, little tiny spells ever since then. And that's why I eat those little crackers or something like that to give me some. Anyway, she's going to check that. She's going to check to make sure it's it's um, blood sugar or just or just blood blood pressure. Brian told me he said I'm uh, surprised your doctor let you go home. I hope it's okay. I really am. I really hope it's that. Yep, Linda, that's what she said. She said this this blood test will tell me all I need to know. But uh, Brian said, I'm surprised, Mom, they let you go home. And I said, well, they didn't, though. They sent me in the same building where the blood, uh, lab is. They sent me to do that first. And that took a while, you know, because you, you don't go in there immediately just because you haven't. I didn't have an appointment, so they had to get me an appointment. So then they told me to come back and sit in the waiting, waiting room out there. And I sat there for about 15, 20 minutes. And finally, this woman comes out and she does my blood pressure. She said, sit here a little longer now. So in all, I was up there a good over two hours. <coughs> I am so sorry. Good grief, y'all. No, Tommy, that's not my problem, keeping track of them. My, point, my problem is keeping the medications in my house. <laughs> See, that's what happened. I It wasn't on auto refill, and I was so busy doing this, doing that. You know all the stuff I do. It, it didn't occur to me that I did not reorder my blood pressure medication. It wasn't on auto refill, but now it is. My pharmacist said, I'm going to set you up on auto refill so that won't ever happen to you again, which is wonderful. But that's not it. It's not that I don't know when I'm supposed to take them. It's that I, I didn't have the medicine to take in the first place. That's what happened. It's the stupidest thing I've ever done, just about. I, I Probably done a lot worse than that. Yes, they are. Linda, they certainly are. They're little bitty. But now I'm on track and I've got them set up to reorder. And um, each time I run out. So I get a 90-day subscription. I take the blood pressure, thyroid, um, I take an aspirin. I take vitamin D, which is 5,000 EUs I use because I had extremely low vitamin E.
I don't want to know, Jackie. Yeah, I agree. I don't want to know. Well, Joy, I, I put my thyroid and my um, blood pressure pill beside my computer where I am every morning. That's why, that's why it's so odd that I ran out and didn't realize it because they are always right there by my computer. Kimberly, I don't want to know either. I don't want to know if, if, if I have something that I can't do anything about, you know. Now, if it's something that's an easy fix, that's different. But I don't want to know about that. Exactly, Jackie. What's the point? Well, you know, that's kind of what my doctor was telling me. She said, she said, you don't take your blood pressure at home very much. And I said, hardly ever. And I, and she just kind of looked at me and I said, yeah, what am I going to do about it? I mean, seriously, y'all, what am I going to do about it? And then so I went and I got a text the other day saying, uh, your patient portal is ready for you to view. So I go online and look up the patient portal, and y'all, you wouldn't believe the gibberish up there. I, I didn't go to medical school. There's all these letters down this line, and then all these numbers down this line. Who in the world is going to know what that means unless you're a doctor? Why even send out crap, excuse me, crap like that if... Like I said, I didn't go to medical school. Ella Jean, that would just scare the heck out of me. It really would. Of course, well, I can only take it once a day, though, Kay. So, so uh, you know, like I said, if I had had it here, I would have taken it. Thank you very much, Jackie. I don't see Diane today. She said she'd be here, but that doesn't mean something may have come up. I think I think Diane has a lot of farm animals. I'm not sure of that, but I think so. Anyway, LL Gina, I am so glad that you are okay and everything's all right. Okay, he is a sweetheart, yes. She's your boss. <laughs> She's a Texan, y'all know. Thank you, Becky. That's very, very sweet. Deputy, I have a shirt that says boss across the front. I guess it was some kind of one of those uh Exercise type shirts. I didn't even think about that. You know, the thing is, earthquake, you, do they get, do you have previous warnings that there's about to be an earthquake, y'all? I don't, I mean, there's a, like a machine. I saw a sci fi movie one time where they show this little thing showing the, the, uh, can't even think what I'm talking about. You know, do they give you advanced notice? Now, we do not get advanced notice when there's a tornado, but we can say a tornado watch or a tornado warning. And, of course, hurricanes, they do get advanced notice that they can get out, get away. There sure is a lot going on in the world in there, y'all. A lot of bad Things. There was a tsunami just the other day in China, I think. <coughs> There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. I was doing that, Kay. And uh, I do, I still don't eat bread and I still don't eat uh, sugar so, and I don't eat dairy. So, I know I don't eat right because I don't like to cook. Yeah, there's got to be some kind of warnings. 
there are warnings in towns for tornadoes, you know, that big noise thing that they boom out over loudspeakers. But I'm not in town, so it wouldn't help me at all. I can't ever tell there's someone. See, here's the thing. If I guess if I was from up north and I came to Texas, I could tell that's a debt. That's they've definitely got that accent, but because I live here, I don't meet people actually that like say are from other countries. So I don't I don't know. We all sound the same to me. I can only tell if if they're British, <laughs> and uh, which I love. But you, I told y'all before, I watched a bunch of British stuff. The, oh, I watched one of the Downton Abbey yesterday and I sat there and watched it and watched it. It's um, it's the one where the king and queen come to visit Downton Abbey and everybody's in a fury and they're out mowing the yards and cleaning and cooking and doing all that stuff because of the king and queen. Thank you, Connie. Connie, you need to be a moderator, too, doesn't she, Jackie? Don't you think so, Jackie? Jackie said that last week. We're trying to get Connie to be a moderator, and she just doesn't, she doesn't take the hint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I've got a weird uh, accent, I guess. It's country. It's, I call it country, y'all. I don't, of course, there are people that are a whole lot more country than I am. I can definitely tell they're not from around here. Okay, LLG. I, I do agree. I need a different type of blood pressure medicine or a different dose. Yes, Connie and Carolyn both are, are really good at that. They, they're always saying, y'all hit the like button or whatever. They're always doing that. Yeah, well, you're Oklahoma, Sandy. So you got the, you're right across the border there. I know I was thinking that too. Lisinopril is what I've been taking for years and years. And y'all, I have never had, they have never changed the dosage. And every time I go into a doctor for years and years and years, my blood pressure has been too high. How come they haven't ever said, you know, maybe we better change the dosage on this stuff. But they never have. I don't get it. I mean, gosh, it's it's pretty sad when you got to have your pharmacist tell you that you're not doing something you're supposed to be doing. <coughs> yeah, because I lost over 20 pounds, Jackie. And I thought I was going to feel a whole lot better. And I actually, I, don't, I can't tell. I can't tell the difference. Maybe when I get it. You know, I have never had blood pressure reading that has been normal. Never. I'm always way too high. So, I don't know. When I go up there Monday, I'm going to talk to her. Southern Bell. Where are you from, Linda? I know, Jackie. Cheesecake. Oh, you're from Canada. Okie dokie. 
you're a neighbor. I would love to have cheesecake. Y'all, I remember one time buying one of these big cheesecakes, a New York style cheesecake, and the kind that they go ahead and pre-slice, you know. <coughs> Pardon me. And I came home and put it in the freezer. Now, cheesecake does not uh, freeze hard as a rock. It, it it doesn't freeze solid, but it, it does. It's not, not as uh, easy to cut as it was if it wasn't frozen. So I put it in there and I would go in there and get me a piece of cheesecake. And it seemed like as soon as you have one piece of cheesecake, that's not enough. You got to go get you another one, then go get you another one. I have even come home with a cheesecake with a spoon and sat in my recliner watching a movie and eating that cheesecake with a spoon. Now, and then I pay for it. Because I think, I think when they say, what is it, a minute on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. <laughs> That's what they call it. Man, I love stuff like that, though. Yeah, I know, Kay, you know that I have a kid, I don't, my kidneys aren't functioning at 100%. It's a struggle. It's a struggle eating those chocolate eggs. Oh, yeah, I bet. Ha! I got some cards. I got a nice card from our lovely LL Jean. A Christmas card. I mean, Easter cards, what it is. And she said some of the sweetest things, y'all. So sweet. I wish I could read her card out. She don't want me to do that. I wonder why computers pop up stuff when you don't want it. Yeah, Ella Jean, I know that sugar is one of the worst things you can put in your body. That and bread. I, I saw that. And I also got one from, from Carol. Can y'all see that? I don't know if you can or not. Anyway, Carol has kitties, and here's their names. Bert, Maddie Mae, and Molly Eugenia. Molly Eugenia. Sounds royal, doesn't it? Like a royal kitty. Bert, Maddie Mae, and Molly Eugenia. I love names like that. I love it when people name their their animals human names. Yes, Connie, they were. It was so nice. Cindy, I think cheesecake's probably my favorite dessert of all time. Doris. Doris. <laughs> Ace and mini. Ace. I like that. Mini. Y'all, I had this woman the other day. And it was in that group I told you about. And she, I had just got through saying, you know, I've got 10 cats that I take care of. For some reason... She said to me, all cats have diseases, terrible diseases. I mean, the woman didn't like cats, obviously. And then she said, just the other day, there was a man who was, and we can't use the, the word on YouTube. You have to use the word unalive. Hello, JB. It's always good to see you as well. How are you doing? That this cat made this man unalive. Only she didn't use the unalive word. She used, the, you know what the word is instead of unalive, but YouTube won't let us use it. So that's silly. But anyway, 
what a thing to tell somebody. I mean, come on. I'm sure that people have been unalive over swallowing a mouse or a or a bug or a spider. But she obviously doesn't like cats. The thing is, I do like cats. I mean, they have given me so much joy. Y'all know that. So why not just be a nice person and not even comment? You know what I mean? If you don't like cats, okay, I'm not going to send mine to you. I'm fine with it. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know why people say things like that. I do not get it. I know there's that thing, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. But not many people adhere to that. That's for sure. But anyway, that's the only woman I have ever seen in that group that has been nasty, so to speak. Everybody else is kind and sweet and, and adorable. Really? How cool! I was wondering when you were going to get back your DNA uh, uh, results. 2% Welsh Corgi. Well, Heidi, what do you think of that? That's right, Linda. One bad apple. Nilda, I'm feeling good today. I hope you are as well. Okay, Kay. I'll see you soon. Thank you for coming in. 2%. I would like to be 2% royal. That's never going to happen. I swear, y'all, somewhere down the line, I have had to have somebody who was British. You know it. People in Texas that live in the country, there it is, countries that I am, do not develop such a fixation on and everybody that's British like I do. I must be nuts. Thank you, JB. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's going to take me a while to get, get it leveled out, I think. But I, I think it'll be okay. Brian used to have a pit. Pit bull. Sweetest thing ever, ever, ever. Bless her heart. My little Daisy, y'all, is 16 years old, and she is she is getting to where she's getting really skinny. You know, I, I buy her little Caesars, and I cut it up for her, and sometimes I heat it up a little bit for her because it's it, I don't want her to eat it cold. And she eats as much as I have to feed her. She doesn't eat the uh, dog food like my little Tuli does. I don't know what it is, Linda. I can't imagine. I think they're the most wonderful folks in the whole world. I really do. What do you mean, Carolyn? You mean because I'm jumping from one subject to the next? <laughs> that shows you how my mind works. I'm talking about cats. I'm talking about a woman in a group. I'm talking about British people. My mind is like that. I, I'm, I'm thinking I have ADD or something because I'm all over the place. Anyway, my Daisy, she's getting really skinny. She's getting to where, like if I pick her up and try to move her, it, it's so easy to hurt her. She doesn't have much meat on her bones for one thing no they're not not at all we years ago 16 years ago my bobby and i went out way out in the country somewhere and i don't even know how we knew these people but they had um little two little chihuahuas and one is a fuzzy hair chihuahua and then there was daisy and there were little there were little chihuahuas running all over the place. 
and the grass was really, really tall, and they had fleas, and they had ticks all over them. Anyway, I paid $75 for Daisy, and I took her home, and she's never had a bad day since. So there. Oh, I see, Carolyn. I, I got you. I had fixed a... Uh, one day I came in here and just sh and, and I didn't have a setting for show all. See if you've got that up there, Carolyn. Do y'all have that? Do you have where it says live chat or show all? Well. Jackie, they're cute, aren't they? The little Yorkies. Okay, Carolyn. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is just yours. I've had cats all my life, but I've had dogs, more dogs than I've had cats. I see, Carolyn. Okay, well, I hope it gets fixed soon. Aren't, Cindy, Yorkies are adorable, aren't they? They just got the cutest little faces. I love animals. Thank you, Linda. Thank you so much. Well, it, it grew real fast. Y'all remember when I had it cut off like an inch and a half on top of my head? Yes. Jackie, we used to have chickens. Bobby built a chicken coop once, but it wasn't here. It was in another house we had. Uh, so, yeah, I've, I've had lots of different animals before. Good morning. Diana by the beach. Good morning, girl. How are you and how are all your kitties? I was thinking about you this morning. Oh, that's neat, Cindy. I had a schnauzer one time, my, my Harley Gold. The, the one that I told you was buried next door over there uh, by that great big bridal wreath. I, I believe I love that dog more than I've ever loved. Thanks, Connie. Thank you so much. Um, I love that dog more than I've ever loved a dog in my whole life. And losing, losing our animals is so hard on us, isn't it, y'all? I mean, they're, you know, they've got a place in our hearts and they're, they're family. It's so hard to lose a beloved pet. But I had Harley trimmed every six weeks, and, but I had a, a mobile unit that came, Cindy, and that was great. I have shown his goats before, LL Jean. I have to be careful, you know. I have to be careful what I show at Brian's house. And I and that's a sad part about things because y'all know my everything about my house. You've been all over the house. I've got everything showing everything all next door across the street, in the woods, but somebody else's house, yeah, I, I don't know. But I have shown his goats before. There's one of me that the goat, uh, me and the goat, he's standing by the fence, and I'm feeding him a piece of grass, and it's in one of my intros. <laughs> yes, or Yes, they are. They have gone up, and it's been in the last two or three days. That is a result of the group that I told y'all about. Y'all remember me telling you? What was the group? Ellie! Hey, 
Hey, girl. It's good to see you. Oh, I'm so glad you got in. She's been having trouble, y'all, with her. I don't know if it's her computer or whatever she's using. Okay, the group I was telling y'all about is called Single Income or Social Security Living on Less. And if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. Because, y'all, it's people our age ranges. Some below, some exact, some more. But they're ladies from all over the country. And they're really, really sweet. And they're very kind. And they are have tips and tricks for saving money they'll give you what they do you know tell us what they do one one lady was talking about making her own uh, instead of buying uh, tissues you do diana i'm in there diana i just joined it about three days ago and because of them i have gained over a hundred subscribers Good deal. Good deal. But I'm in there. That's kind of cool, but it's it's a good group. I like it. Because the name of the group? Sandy? Well, shoot. I was not, I was not cut out to be a person with this technology. Now I can't find the group. I know it's there. Here it is. Single, single income or social security living on less. But you don't have to put the whole name in there. Just put single income in your search bar and it'll probably bring it up to you. Okay. But it's a great group and I like them a lot. And because of them, I have gained. Oh, Diana. On, in that group. I probably have answered you. I just didn't know who you were. You, I don't imagine you, you. Well, you don't. It's Facebook. So you don't use Diana by the beach. And you don't have to say who you are. But I'm just saying that's I probably. Uh, yeah, L.L. Jean, I think you'll like it. Some of them have pretty good tips and some of them are not so good. <laughs> like. Uh, well, I don't want to say. I, I don't need to say. But anyway, I, I enjoy it. And I watch what they, I like seeing what they have to say about things. Diana, no, I am not under my channel name. Gosh, Gene, LL Gene, I have never met anybody that didn't have Facebook. I thought everybody at Dog had Facebook by now. Yep, that's the name of it. That's the name of the group. Um, Diana, I use my real name there. Uh huh. And I've had that account for so long, I don't want to change it, you know. L A, you and L L Jean, both of you don't have Facebook. Ah, <gasps> Linda, no Facebook. Oh my God. Cindy didn't have Facebook. Well, y'all, back then when I had Facebook, I didn't know about YouTube. I mean, I know YouTube's been going on forever and ever, but I had no idea that. You know, so so now I'm more on YouTube than I am Facebook, but at least the groups I like because you can, it's like-minded people talking about things that are very helpful. Nelda has Facebook. <laughs> <coughs> I like Facebook for that purpose. 
y'all, when Bobby passed away, I deleted all but about five pe friends on Facebook. I deleted everybody, just took them off. Jean, you don't have a cell phone either. I remember. Well, Cindy, go join that group so I can see you there. I don't know, Jackie. I have no idea. I mean, when I remember years ago when I was a kid, we had a party line. I just recently, LA, I just recently canceled my landline because I don't need it anymore. And y'all, the, the, and I'm saving $30 a month by not having it. So I don't need it. I've got to sell. That's all I need. Linda Harp, Harford doesn't have a cell phone either. What do y'all do? I, I don't, I can't imagine. I mean, I've gone off to go to the grocery store and realized when I got to the red light that I didn't have my cell phone and turned around and came back and got it. Yeah, Jackie. <laughs> there are people <coughs> have never used a dial phone. <clears throat> when cell phones first came out, I, I remember saying, I don't want one of those things. I don't want that. You're driving the car. The darn thing rings. You can't answer it. And now, and now in my car, you, you take and you sync your car to your cell phone and it rings in your car and you push a little button on your steering wheel and you can talk to that person with a in a little box. <laughs> and that's the funniest thing ever. Yeah, I think so too, Diana. Me either, Linda. Not now, anyway. Yeah. They're doing away with landlines. Okay, Carolyn, I'm so sorry, honey. But thank you for coming in, and I hope you have a good weekend. i see ya. See ya. Anyway, I, I just, honestly, I saved $30 by not having a landline. Oh, you did? Cindy, yay. I will look for you. Now, I'm in there. I, I tell you what. I've got the, a big uh, picture of my simple cottage life, uh, Cindy, and I'm telling about that. And that's how come I got all, all those new um, subs. Government taking them away. Yeah, Jackie, you should see the Dallas, Texas phone book. Boy, that sucker was like an encyclopedia. Anyway, the cell phone has helped me many times because lots of times I've been broken down on the road before or run out of gas or whatever. And I I have to wait for somebody to come help me. And now you can just call. It's really great for emergency situations. No, Jackie. No, I'm I'm I am in the sticks. And it's dangerous to walk now 
you know, when somebody pick you up and, and take you somewhere. That's right, Diana. That's exactly right. And I, I have, I have, my cars broke down before, um, and, but this has been a good while. And a lady stopped and picked me up and took me to a gas station. I, I'm, you know, t today's world is, is a whole lot more dangerous than it was when I was you know, in my thirties or forties or fifties, even it's a whole lot. It's a different world. Now you cannot trust somebody like picking you up on the side of the road. I don't know anything about that, Carol. I don't think I do. I probably come across it if it, but I don't watch the news on TV. I watch it's if if usually if it's newsworthy, somebody on YouTube has made a uh, video about it. I don't know, Jackie. Brian can, and he's three miles from me, but I don't know if I can or not. Uh, I was thinking about joining that Walmart thing, y'all. No. I know, JB. I know. God bless his little heart. That's so horrible, wasn't it? He said he looked his, his little pictures. He's so sweet looking. Anyway, I'm thinking about joining that Walmart thing, you know, but it's it's I think it's two hundred dollars a year or something like that, y'all. And you can get your groceries or whatever from Walmart delivered to you. And Brian does it all the time. I mean, he's got a delivery coming and going all the darn time. Because when I go down there to clean, he's got his groceries usually set in those plastic bags, those, those uh, gray bags from Walmart, you know. And he's got them all in there in his pantry. And I usually take them and put them up for him. But um, I would, I kind of would like that very much because they will deliver it within a couple of hours of your ordering it. If you want them to, you can set the time and you can set the date. Yes, Jackie, I was thinking that. And let me tell you, you know, I told you I use about 16 pounds a week cat food, y'all. Think about that. That's a lot of cat food. Well, 16 pounds is not too hard on me, but when I buy a 20 or a 22 pound, getting it out of the car and up my steps into the house is brutal. The arson. <laughs> oh, Jackie, you're adorable. I don't have any other neighbors, Jackie. That's it. I mean, on one side of me is... is devastated property <laughs> rather than the arson. <laughs> He's arson. <laughs> She's talking about the guy that set fire in the woods. Then everybody was up in arms and people were pulling up my driveway uh, yelling, did you know your woods are on fire back there? And I, I just thought I was going to have a fit. Oh, that was awful night. Linda, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go test it out. I'm going to see because I don't want to have to. I, I don't want to have to um, pay for it for a whole year. And then it not be in my range but it should be it's not that far it's only eight miles for goodness sake from walmart that's a good idea ll jean 
that's a good idea. And then I could go pick it. Well, here's the thing that, well, I have to think about that. I don't like particularly like for somebody to pick out my groceries for me. You know what I mean? Because I know you can d deny a substitution, but I've seen so many people complaining that they give them bad vegetables or whatever. Yeah, Carol, I saw that. Oh, my neighbor, yeah, he's a nut. He, he's a total nut. Diana, read that. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Good, hey, good Gulf Coast Granny. Good morning to you. It's good to see you. Hadn't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Yes, Diane, I did get that part. The yucky produce. That's what they were saying. They don't like that at all. They pick out the bad stuff. Well, I don't think if I were going to do produce, I would have Walmart uh, do it for me. Me too, Linda. Uh, OCD. <laughs> she wants everything nice and neat and, and clean. That's great, Granny. Visiting your parents. Good Lord, bless your heart. Your parents are still with you. That is wonderful. I'm doing okay, Granny. Thank you, dear. Yes, LL Jean. Especially the canned goods or stuff like that. Diana, that was funny. Jerry, Diana, stuff up there, y'all. You have to, you need to decipher that. <laughs> Jethro Bodin, he can decipher. You got date trees, Jackie? Yeah, you got lucky, yucky, right? I knew, I knew who that what well, that was. My Kimberly, I've got Brian bought me a leaf blower, and mine's not very loud at all. And I went out yesterday and blew off my front porch. I think there are different forms of OCD. Yeah, Jackie. Ciphering. That's right, LL Jean. He would could cipher. I think he's still alive. Max Bayer, is that his name? Max Bayer. He's the only one of them that are that's still alive, I think. Now, y'all have seen my house because I've shown it before. As much as in my house and as much as I have on all these cabinets and tables and all over the place, if I come in and I see something moved, I know it's moved. Isn't that weird? <coughs> Brian's just like me. He's got lots and lots and lots of stuff. But because I'm down there every week cleaning his house, I know where everything is. But he moves stuff around constantly. And I always know that he's moved all this stuff. He moves it. And then I'll see something that was a on the table. Now he's got it on the mantle. And, and he just does it all the time. I think he's trying to drive me nuts. But I know that it's been moved. That's good, Cindy.
Me too, Jackie. Remember that little saying, the more people I meet, the more I love my dog. Except for y'all, of course. But y'all, I'm not. A perfect world would all be in the same town. And it wouldn't be anybody in that town but us. That would be the perfect world. That's not going to happen. I know my cat, they don't get in it anymore anyway. I've got it now out on the yard, on the grass out there. They don't play in it anymore. When they were little, they liked it. But you know, outside cats, they've got so much to do. They can climb the trees. And The other day I came home and LG and uh, Ginger were on the roof on the house. I'm like, what? why, y'all? <coughs> but they've got a lot to do. They don't even need toys out there on that patio. They've got plenty to do. Little um, pumpkin head. Yeah, Jackie, it does, except I've got a lot of dirt that blows in, you know, because it's so windy. Little pumpkin head needs toys. She gets up, y'all. She gets up and she runs. Let me show you her baby. Oh, my gosh. I can't hardly get out of the chair. Oh, I feel like those pictures of those old ladies you see when they can barely walk. Holy cow. Look. That's Mr. Chicken. Isn't he cute? That pumpkin head baby. I know, Joy. I know, but wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be fun? I mean, we could have you know, picnics and somebody could make a cheesecake and, and somebody could bring fried chicken. Yeah, it'd be great. So anyway, here's, you know that my carpet's red. I hate this carpet, but it, I can't afford to get rid of it. And then, but and uh, pumpkin head is black. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, it's good to see you here. <coughs> I have got the coughs. So the only time when because I don't have much light on in my house, and sometimes pumpkin comes running across the the uh, floor with this thing in her mouth. And the only way I know it's there is because of Mr. Chicken. Otherwise, I wouldn't see her at all because she's black and the carpet's red. So that's when you know she, she comes running, bounding along with that. I put that up because that's her baby. Oh, you're at work today. Well, I'm glad you came in and said hello. It's good to see you. Everybody in here always has... The best comments, the kindest comments, the sweetest comments. Of course, I get rid of people who don't, but <laughs> that that's a kind of perk that that YouTube gives us. I I don't I don't I have one light on. Sometimes just the TV light. I just don't. I, I save money by not having lights blaring. I, Friendship Village. Friendship Village. I remember telling y'all a long time ago that I would love to have a town that nobody but all the people who who are my, my subs... Yeah, I get rid of them, L.A. I get rid of them. I, I don't need it, you know. I don't need, we don't need um, people being mean to us, do we? Not at our age. We don't have to put up with it. I know, Jackie, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and I, I've seen people before. Yeah, because I'm the only one you've seen. 
I've seen people before leave a message and they go, now I'm just telling you this, it's, it's trying to be helpful. And I bet she thinks I'm going to bite her head off or something. She had to explain. Five foot two, eyes are blue. We may, Linda. Dollar, Dollar Tree. We don't have 99 cent stores anymore. We have Dollar Tree here uh, in my area, and a lot of them are closing. And they, Dollar Tree owns family dollar stores, and they're closing hundreds of them. I know LA, but, but we, you know, think of all that we've been through. And so one lousy little hateful remark from some mean person, either on Facebook or in person or on YouTube, we don't need it. We don't need to listen to that, do we? We don't have to. Anyway, there are, they're closing. Now, there is a family dollar very close to me. And it's a very profitable family dollar. So I doubt that one's going to be closed, except this is technically country. And there's a dollar, a family dollar right out in the middle of it all in the country. But boy, that generates a lot of revenue. Oh, you don't have a family dollar or a dollar general. Good grief. Diana, those stores down here are practically on every street corner. Yeah, our simple cottage lives. Yeah, my, my life isn't so simple right now, is it? It's all kinds of mess. It's either the house next door or my health or something like that. Okay, Cindy. You have a good weekend, too. I'm so glad you came in. That's not Cindy. That's Carol. Oh, I'm surprised. I think I got it, though. Mary's gang. Yeah, that's Carol. Cindy's Oklahoma. Carol's plain vanilla grandma. I'm surprised I remember that, but when you see somebody or hear from somebody on a regular basis, you're going to remember them. Sometimes I get them mixed up, though. Hello, Chris. How you doing? Are you, Cindy? Well, that's good. Well, we're all friends, all of us. You mean in uh, real life? That is amazing, Diana. Wow. I'm not kidding. There are so many family dollars and, and uh, there's several Dollar Trees. Dollar General used to be a really good store, but it's gotten to where I haven't been in one in years that was clean and neat, you know? Y'all, we've been here an hour and 19, oh, an hour and 19 minutes. Good to know, Chris. Anyway, the dollar store has gotten very, you know, they don't put stuff up. They don't um, clean the floor up. It's But this family dollar down here by me, that little old lady in there that runs that, well, she's not old. You know what I mean? Little, little old lady. You know what I mean? Uh, man, she keeps that place. She's clean as a pen. She is always working. Dollarama. We don't. I've never had a Dollarama. We used to have a place called Just a Buck. But the Dollar Tree is not just the Dollar Tree anymore. The sneaky little boogers. They they went up to a dollar twenty five. So it's not a dollar Dollar Tree anymore. Uh, 
and they've got sections in there now that are above five dollars so they're they're uh, slowly adding more expensive stuff to their stores pretty soon i don't imagine it'll be a dollar 25 that you spend in there So, but I, I have, I've not been there a lot. I like it, though. I know, Ella Jean. I loved Kmart. I really used to go there all the time. Hi, Teresa. Thank you so much. That's sweet of you. There is a place, Jackie, uh, I can't think where it is, but it that, that's right, the 72-ounce steaks. It's like on a plate, you know, this big. There used to be some uh, a TV show with a guy that went around the country, and, and he would do sort of challenges like that can't think of the name of him and I love to watch him I can't think of the name at my house I have a United States flag a Texas flag and a British flag or a Union Jack I had a lady one time say to me she had watched one of my videos and and I was out on the porch and it showed the Union Jack. And she said, where are your United States flags? I have them. But if I want to fly Union Jack up there on my patio, I will. That was a gift from a dear friend. And you know who you are. I thought he did too, Jackie. I thought he looked really nice. Charles did. Bless his heart. Now they said that Catherine would be back to, you know, her royal duties after Easter. Well, it's after Easter, but I haven't seen her doing anything. I don't have a good feeling about him, Jackie. I don't. I think, you know, I mean, he, he he's my age anyway, and now he has cancer. There's nobody, well, there'll never, ever be a monarch that lives as long as Elizabeth. The only YouTuber I know that lives in Canada is uh, Chickens by the Lake. Uh, her name is, um, who is, what's her name, y'all? What's her name? Chickens by the Lake. I can't think of her name. I noticed that too, Ella Jean. He's out there shaking hands and stuff like that. Looks like he wouldn't do that. Other Michelle, thank you, Linda. That's right. But I like her channel, Linda. I like I like to see all the stuff. She's got stuff everywhere. She's like me. It's all over the place. Our styles are different, but we got the same kind of stuff you know, in our houses. But I, I think she's I think she's interesting. Yeah. Her um her intros are beautiful, some of them. They're real nice. I like them. She shows the lake, you know, and the and her chickens and her I think she's got some ducks.
That's true, Diana. That, that is absolutely true. Even... Oh, you did, Linda? How come? I mean... Hmm. Found me through her. I have a niece named Kimberly. Daryl? Something must have come up. I don't know, Linda. I never knew that she had done that. Isn't that funny? I never knew it. Taylor Jean, yeah. Yeah, remember the news reporter? I can't think of his name, y'all. He he said he was in a helicopter that was shot down and come to find out he was never even close to where a helicopter was shot down at all. That's not true. Tom Brokaw, isn't that it? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure about that. Tom Brokaw has cancer, I think. He sure looks bad, y'all. Oh, he looks so bad. He man it I don't watch the news anymore no LA you really can't oh it was Walter no no not Walter Cronkite. Ooh, Ella Jean, I hate to disagree with you, but I disagree. It was Tom Brokaw. He's the one that said I was shot down in a helicopter. I don't like to disagree with Ella Jean. <laughs> but it wasn't Tom Bro It wasn't Walter Cronkite. I'm going to have to look now. I'm going to have to look it up. And if so, I will humbly apologize. Jacqueline. I do not watch the news channels anymore. If if I want to know about something. Oh, is that what she said? Okay. Thank you, LA. So I didn't contradict her at all. <laughs> I'm glad. I don't like to do that. You know, Jacqueline Kennedy, her mother, really called her Jacqueline. I'm doing okay, Chris. I'm, I'm going back to the doctor on Monday, and I want to have a long talk with her because I want her to decide after her. Um, stuff on my patient portal that I can't figure out what the heck they're talking about anyway on that. I just don't watch the news. Was it Brian Williams? I didn't, Jackie. I didn't say that. Everybody writes a book, don't they? Okay, Jennifer. Glad you came in. Thank you for coming. See you soon. Okay, I believe you, JB. Brian Williams, you are so right. Oh, my gosh. Now, I, I got the face now. I, I understand it now. Because they, they sent out a little uh, joke thing, and it had him sitting up there talking about he was in the helicopter crash and all that. And in other news, I was born a coal miner's daughter. 
And they sent that out, and it was all over Facebook making fun of him. Hey. Hello, my baby. You want to come and say hi to people? I see my baby over there. Come here, doll baby. Come here. Come here, I want to show you. Sometimes all you see are just those big, round, green-looking eyes, you know? There's that cat voice. That's right. It's my baby. Come here, my baby. That's how I get my kitties to like me, y'all. I don't know why. You'd think they'd run from me. But every time I go out and talk to them, I don't talk to them in a voice like I'm talking to y'all. That I just don't. It's 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 like that. It, well, they know me, and that way they come to me, you know, because that's my voice. The cat voice. Come here, my baby. Come here, my booty. I want to show them you because you're beautiful and I love you. Well, she didn't, she's not going to be polite. Um, red. My favorite color, red. And y'all, I don't even have anything red. Yes, I do. I have a few red things in my kitchen. But you'd think I'd have lots of red, wouldn't you? They don't know who you are, Diana. <laughs> I also like pink a lot, Jackie. I like pink. My mother liked purple. That was her favorite color, the color purple. I watched that again. Have y'all watched that? The new color purple that Oprah produced or whatever she did. I watched it before and I wasn't too happy about it. But then again. Oh, yeah, L.A. How nice. You're having fun doing that. I know you are. I love decorating. Sometimes I like to move just so I can decorate again. Yeah, I, I like pink, I, especially yeah, like those hot pinks. I like them a lot. Wow, Shadow. Bless his heart. I went out there on the patio the other day and something I've never worn and the cats ran off to. That makes me think about that, Diana. I was something that they've never seen before. NBC, Jackie. I don't, I just don't watch. I, see, y'all, I don't take cable anymore, so I don't get anything else. Yep. Let me see. BBS in that British Broadcasting System. Come here. She's so un. She's not very sociable today, for some reason. Well, like I said, unless, you know, if it's, if it's something really big news, that's going to be on YouTube. And so I watched that. Lester. I don't know any of those people. I don't know Rita. There's a lot of things that I used to watch all the time, you know, like Survivor. Bobby and I would watch Survivor every week. We wouldn't miss it for nothing. And those things I haven't watched in five years. Oh. Uh 
Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Shadow, happy birthday to your dad who's 92. Isn't that a wonderful thing? I used to watch a lot of stuff, a lot of law and order and all that kind of stuff on, on TV. I don't, I don't watch those anymore. I want to tell you, at night when I get ready to go to bed, I get the dogs and I go in there and turn on my TV and then I watch YouTube shorts. Have y'all watched YouTube shorts? Surely you have. And some of them, especially the ones with the animals, the cats, the dogs and stuff, are hilarious. They are so funny. But the ones that I really laugh the heck uh, the most of are the people who fall down. <laughs> you know, people who are walking across the ice and they'll slip and fall and they're skating all over everywhere and falling. I love that. I don't know why I love that, but I do. And I laugh and laugh. Oh, Linda, me too. I used to watch it all the time. I loved, I loved Survivor. I haven't watched it in, I know it's been five years. Haven't watched it. Well, as long as there are gullible people out there, you know, they rake in an audience. Come here, my sweet baby. Come here, I want to see you. Chris, I know you've been in here before, Chris. You sure have. I remember. One of my favorite shows from all time, L.L. Jean is Columbo. I bet you I have watched every one of his uh, uh, shows. I don't know. Every time it comes on, I'll watch it. I don't care if I've already watched it. I'll watch it again. I love Columbo. He is so funny. I love Columbo. He's a wonderful. Jackie. There is a woman on YouTube and she does, she plays bits of parts of Columbo's um, shows. And she will tell us who the person is playing with him that's in the thing with him, uh, what they did before, the shows they were in. She will find a picture on the wall and say that was painted by so-and-so it's the most interesting thing she breaks down every single thing with Columbo and I can't think of the name of it to save my life but that's all she does is break down Columbo what what model the car was uh, uh, you know everything in there she, man she's just amazing that she can figure out to do all this it must take her forever to figure out everything but it's it's really really interesting it's only Columbo that she does too I love Columbo he's the one I get my say in I got my say in from him that's it I I don't like heights as a matter of fact I don't even like being this tall and I just love him and I say that all the time I don't even like being this tall 
He was a little man. He and his children were estranged when he when he passed away. I used to watch her all the time, too, simply because I liked her, Jackie. She was such a lady, wasn't she? She really was. A beautiful, sweet lady. Come here, my baby. Come here. Gosh, Jackie, I don't know. I don't know. Golly, I don't know why I don't know. Come here, baby. Come here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Come here. We're here. Come right here. Yes, he's older than dirt, isn't he? Man, he is. But he, he did, Jackie, he did a dance not very long ago. He had these guys that helped him, that kind of held him up a little bit. You could see when they were walking with him, you know. He could still, he could still do it. She, she is chewing my, my uh, tripod. <laughs> yeah, Dick Van Dyke. No, don't do that, honey. Anyway. I guess you make a lot. I, I, it, see, I've, I've tried to do the accents before, and I just massacre it. Yes, Linda, she does. She's over there now, and the, on this where I have some crystal. I used to watch that one too, uh, Cindy, in the heat of the night. I liked them. I like stuff like that. That is it in the heat of the night. Is that where they had Bubba? And Bubba had these shirts, y'all, and you could, they were they would tuck them in, you know, make them as tight on the arm as they could, so you could see his muscles. I liked him. I liked his muscles. Oh, okay, golly, that's right. She was 80 years. She was in uh, the movie, The uh, Portrait of Dorian Gray. I loved it. Older than dirt. Yep. Older than dirt. I know what great. Cindy, wasn't he great, Bubba? No, no, Jackie, she's British. Isn't that right, y'all? Angela Lansbury, she's British. Don't tell me she's not. Cindy. I know. He was a good-looking dude, wasn't he? Sort of like Jason Momoa, whatever that guy. Whoa, he's a... Shoot. He wasn't skinny. That's true. Really good-looking. We just don't have programs anymore like they used to, y'all, who, who were... Re what are you doing over there, baby? Come, come here. Come. Oh. Oh. Look, look. See those eyes, y'all? That's all I see in the dark. <laughs> she is so shiny. Look at her hair. I love you, though, baby. I love you.
You can go now. She made her debut. Sometimes, Jackie, I do. You know, I watch TV, and I, I know you're not supposed to watch TV before you go to bed. Yeah, she's real shiny. She's real healthy. She's a healthy girl. Okay. British American Jackie is what she was. But I was, she, I knew she was British. She had an accent. Maybe that's what I am, y'all. British American. In it with a Texas accent. I'll take it. She's just one of those people that everybody loved. I've never heard anybody say anything bad about her at all. Yeah, she was great. Murder, she wrote, was her, her um, show. She did. My hair, y'all, looks black to y'all, but it's not. It's brown. But I have a lot, a lot, a lot of silver in my hair now, and I'm so glad. But right back here, you can't see it. Right up in here. There's a ton of silver up there. And every so often I'll see all that silver throughout here. And I can't, I can't wait to get more of it. I love the thought. Yeah. I want I want silver hair. I thought maybe I should splurge and go to the beauty shop and have my hair done silver, but no, y'all, because because then they'll have those great big old dark roots. I can't stand that. That's the style now anyway. Y'all, you know what else is in style that I can't stand? Nails that are look like coffins. They're shaped. They're coffins. They call them coffin nails. And they make these big long nails. And then they put all this glue, all this stuff on them. You know, like little flowers and hearts and all that. I don't know how these people go about their daily business of living with nails like that. Oh, you don't see it? You don't see my silver? It's mostly on this side. It's on this side. See if you can see it now. I got silver up top. <laughs> Today, oh, let me tell you. So, this afternoon, Brian and I have a lady who is coming out to um, cut our dog's nails. I have not had my Thule or my, my um, Daisy Bell. Haven't had their nails cut in a long time, and they're getting really bad. So, she's a mobile lady. And she's going to come cut their nails. And then she's going to follow me to Brian's. And she's going to cut Brian's dog's nails. So that's this afternoon. When we get done with the. Well, it's about from. Well, let's see. It's 1147. She's not coming till about two, I think. So that's my afternoon because I've already done all my yard work that I'm going to do for now and I'm not going to do any more. I need to do laundry. Y'all, I don't do laundry, but about once a month or maybe every two weeks or so. I just don't. That's another thing that they talked about in that group and how they save money is they don't do their laundry, but about once a month. And I've been doing that for a long time, just didn't realize it was saving money, but I guess it is, you know, the dryer.
Anyway, don't forget, if you want to, if you're on Facebook, check it out. Thank you for coming, Jackie, so much. I appreciate you so much. Oh, that, that's expensive, Linda. She charges $13 a dog. That's expensive. The vet is going to be more expensive than if you would take her, take them to a, um, a somebody who clips. The only reason hers is 13 is because she has to drive here. Otherwise, it'd be 10. Most every single vet, um, animal groomer charges $10. So you're paying way too much, Jackie. I mean, Linda, get, your, get yourself a groomer and call them up. Everybody knows the vets is way more than regular groomers and so forth. Anyway, I don't know why they charge so much. That's crazy. Yeah. Thanks. You could, you've been paying four times what you needed to pay. <coughs> Bye-bye, Cindy. I thank you for coming in. Y'all, I'm going to close it down, and I thank you very much for coming. Uh, don't forget to go and look at that group I told you about and see if you like it. Long, long time ago, Chris, I did. Used to like it. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I used to like it a lot. Yes, Linda, that's right. So you may be saving you some money, girl. I never thought about cutting cat nails, Diana. Hello, Jean. Stay safe up there. I, I think about you all the time. Kimberly, bye-bye. All right, everybody, thank you for coming in so much. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm, I've got a video coming up this week, I hope, and I'm going to do, do a little work next door. So, everybody, thank you very much. It's always good seeing you all. I will see you soon. Hope God is good to you also. Bye-bye.